The New York Post recently published an article titled Possibly Hostile, Alien Threat Detected in Unknown Interstellar Object. This shocking article refers to a scientific paper published in July 2025 by a Harvard astrophysicist, Abraham Loeb. In this paper, the authors claim the detection of an interstellar body approaching our solar system, showing signs of a chemical propulsion system. They also say that if there were to be an attack, it would probably be in November 2025. How much of this is true? How much of it is exaggerations? I have read the paper so you don't have to. And in this video, I'm going to give you the scientific details the media will never tell you. So click the like button and let's dive in. 3i Atlas was discovered on July 1st by the NASA-funded Atlas Survey. Uh, it was discovered using their uh, telescope at Rio Hurtado in Chile, and it was first detected as a speck of light moving relative to background stars. The story began on the 21st of July, 2025, when a team of scientists, namely Adam Hibbard, Adam Crowell, and Abraham Loeb, published a paper with the title is the interstellar object 3i slash Atlas an alien technology? In the abstract of this paper, the authors refer to the anomalous characteristics this interstellar object has, and they connect it to the dark forest resolution of the Fermi paradox. The Fermi paradox is simply the gap between the high probability of alien civilizations, given billions of habitable worlds, and our total lack of contact or evidence. Given the size of the galaxy and the fact that the galaxy has been around a long time, that there's plenty of time for a civilization to rise up, send out a mission to multiple planets, pitch tent, use local resources to build more rockets and go to two planets, four, eight, 16. You can do this in hundreds of millions of years easily. Right. Without even warp drives or anything. If that's the case, the galaxy could and should be teeming with alien civilizations. So where are they? This paradox has many possible solutions, one of which is the dark forest hypothesis, which was mentioned in this paper. In the dark forest model, interstellar civilizations operate under extreme informational asymmetry. Nobody can reliably gauge how many other civilizations exist, how advanced they are, or whether they pose a threat. So emitting radio signals is like lighting a campfire that pinpoints your location to a potential predator. Under this hypothesis, survival logic dictates that radio silence is the evolutionarily stable strategy, driving all civilizations to hide and rendering the universe eerily quiet. The authors then confirm that the time of detection of this interstellar object was particularly suspicious. We couldn't detect its existence or its trajectory until it was too late to do anything, like launching an interception mission to land on the object and discover its composition, suggesting that this is typical behavior for a spy vessel designed for reconnaissance. They specifically mention Stanislaw Lem's influential fictional critique of the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, in which the novel's Earth vehicle, Hermes, approaches an inhabited star system disguised as a parabolic comet applying an artificial crust and ejecting gases. Later, it uses close flybys of gas giants to decelerate and hide its propulsive maneuvering. Hermes adopts this cautiously covert entry into a star system after observing possible hostile activities remotely spread across the target system, centered on the inhabited planet. They say this is what the newly discovered interstellar object might be doing, providing calculations on how this could be a possible assumption. At the heart of this, they say, is a question any self-respecting scientist will have had to address at some point in their career. Is an outlier of a sample a consequence of expected random fluctuation, or is there ultimately a sound reason for its observed discrepancy? A sensible answer to this hinges largely on the size of the sample in question, and it should be noted that for interstellar objects, we have a sample size of only three, therefore rendering an attempt to draw inferences from what is observed rather problematic. In the end, they finish with a conclusion I'll read to you as it is, for I think it really summarizes what you should take away from this video. 
we strongly emphasize that this paper is largely a pedagogical exercise, with interesting discoveries and strange serendipities worthy of a record in the scientific literature. By far the most likely outcome will be that 3i slash Atlas is a completely natural interstellar object, probably a comet, and the authors await the astronomical data to support this likely origin. Nevertheless, when viewed from an open-minded and unprejudiced perspective, these investigations have revealed many compelling insights into the possibility that 3i slash Atlas is technological. And moreover, the calculations presented here are useful even if the interstellar object ends up being a comet like 2i slash Borisov because they could be applied to future detections of interstellar objects by the Vera C. Rubin Observatory over the coming decade, 